Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some predictions for Season 5, so these are the predictions mainly for Episode 10, but maybe a bit as we head further on into the back half. But essentially, what we're going to be doing throughout the holidays, we're going to try and, you know, come up with theories, talking about different theories. So if you guys have any suggestions or any theories you want me to talk about, I've heard a random theory about maybe coming from Reddit or somewhere about the villain of the season actually not being Cicada, but being someone else and being um, his like nurse for his daughter because she hates Metahuman so much, but that remains to be seen. I haven't really looked into that, but if you want something like that, let me know. And so today we're going to be giving my predictions, so if you do go on to intro the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. And so let's go ahead and get right into this. So let's first talk about Nora because that's the thing everyone is expecting. We're expecting a lot of Nora due to how the season 5 episode 9 finale, like mid-season finale, actually ended the 100th episode with her actually being revealed to be somewhat working with a future version of Eobard Thorn after Crisis on Earth X. So, what is going on? We don't know, but we're going to be predicting and theorising about some things. And so, Nora, what are we going to learn? I think in episode 10, we're going to see more scenes with her working with Eobard. We've seen that in the trailer, that's a definite. But, but it remains to be seen how much we actually find out about their working relationship. We know there's an upcoming origins episode that has been teased between those two i think that's really interesting but they haven't started shooting that yet so that might be the next few episodes after when the season's returned and so expect those 2049 scenes and a bit of sort of explanation but not too much i wouldn't expect like a full-on explanation i think that's going to be teased out until we get to that origins episode sometime later in the season and so, also, in regards to Nora, I think Sherlock is going to be delving further in in episode 10 when we return. And, you know, with how he left off at the mid-season finale, with him finding out about Nora's journal and it actually meaning something, I'm sure he's going to somewhat, like, tease towards Team Flash that he sees that Nora isn't as innocent as she looks. And so, he's going to be further digging into this and he knows... She's already written in her diary of sorts, the timeline is malleable, so it seems like she's sending off a message or something. So he's going to get that gist, I think he's already got that gist, and I think he might start to sort of look deeper into, you know, Nora's actual intentions and if she's good, if she's bad, what is she doing in this present time, and that is what Sherlock, the detective, is here to do. And so I do believe he's probably not going to tell Team Flash until he has a definitive answer. I don't think he will have a definitive conclusion by episode 10. So expect some more digging in, essentially. And her relationship with Barry and Iris. I think it's going to continue to be the same thing as we head into episode 10. I don't think it's going to be anything really different because they don't know. It's only us as a spectator that knows she's working with the reverse Flash. So that's still a mystery. You know, they have no idea that she could be going back and forth to the future. Well, Barry knows that she's gone back and forth before because, you know, she's popped up in those multiple times. She went back and saw Henry Allen and Nora Allen when she wasn't supposed to, but Barry caught her. And so he knows about that, but he doesn't know that she's been meeting Reverse Flash, his biggest enemy, and we as a spectator know that, but we have no idea why. Like, there's no explanation right now. It's just a remaining mystery and I love it and I just loved how the 100th episode actually left off, you know, giving us the mid-season break. So I think the normal life is going to be the same, you know, with Barry or Barry, Iris and Nora and I don't think it's going to be any different at all. And so now moving on past Nora. So the future. In the trailer they teased that we're going to be going to the future or at least Iris and Barry are. So we see various scenes of them in the future, in the Flash Museum, and we see a little Nora. So we're definitely going to be seeing a little Nora, and so maybe we will get the sort of development into Nora's backstory, and, you know, a bit more into her childhood. And so it seems like either Iris and Barry are time-travelling to the future, or they're in fact vibing via Cisco to the future, but he doesn't really have that strength anymore. 
so presumably they are time traveling to the future so they must have a reason maybe that reason roots from sherlock maybe he does reveal some of the mystery as to the timeline being malleable or maybe it's just nora taking him and her mom on a visit to the future to see what life is like for little nora and how maybe this could affect them if her father was actually saved and you know she's happy in the future so you know how would everything actually go out and play out and so i think it's interesting that the trailer sort of teased those future scenes especially like really heavily so are we going to be in the future for most of the episode i think that could be a possibility i think definitely like the first half will be actually in present day you know maybe dealing with the aftermath of the 100th episode with Cicada, everything like that with the time travel and, you know, seeing Zoom, maybe they all come to grips with that. But maybe they develop and, you know, it's been a few months and they have that sort of time jump and nothing has happened because sometime at the mid-season breaks, sometimes they actually do it along with the time, but sometimes they start off straight away. I do think the future scene's going to start off straight away. I think that possibly could be the first scene of the episode, that being Nora and future Eobard Thorne from Crisis on Earth X actually in the future in Iron Heights. These elements of what we're going to see are going to be explained as we head on, but I think episode 10 is going to be sort of a jumping point for the back part of the season and, you know, what they're teasing. And so, moving on, talking about Cicada, so... Cicada in the 100th episode has been found out and everyone sort of knows about him and so apparently according to the EP of the show Cicada is going to be on the hunt sort of looking for revenge because you know they know about his adopted daughter and he is essentially a fugitive we know CCPD are going to be trying to track him down and take him down so he is a villain he is a real criminal in Central City by this point. So I think what's going to happen, I don't think he's going to appear that much in the mid-season premiere, but I know they're going to tease the way that he's going to go forward. So maybe one scene, maybe two scenes, something along those lines, and expect him to be coming back, as the EP has said, to actually get revenge and, you know, try and kill the Flash and all of them. Because before this, Cicada's main interest wasn't Team Flash, it's metahumans, but now they've got his attention, now they've annoyed him in trying to stop him, and so now he's going to be getting revenge and trying to actually go after Team Flash, and so that's a problem for them. Additionally, before we sort of lead towards the end of my predictions, I think we may potentially get a Killer Frost scene teasing what's to come, because we know Killer Frost's dad is going to be returning, because he is a recurring star in this season, so... He's probably contracted to appear about three or four times. He's only appeared once. So maybe expect a teaser for how that's going to play out. Because I'm guessing as we head on in towards the back half, he's going to get a few episodes. And so I think he's going to be teased or just mainly in regards to Killer Frost. But, you know, there's nothing too much to do with that. Cisco, you know, just normal Team Flash stuff. Ralph, normal Team Flash stuff. Don't think it's going to be anything too special. Iris and Barry, I think it's mainly to do with that future stuff that might be happening, but mainly in regards to Nora and how Sherlock's going to play into this because he sort of has the playing cards right now. He's waiting to deal out his deck and Nora doesn't know about that right now. Maybe she's a bit suspicious, but she really doesn't know anything about him actually catching on because he's found out that the timeline is malleable and he has all this different information so, you know, I think he's in the position to expose Nora sometime very soon. So, yeah, as we head towards the end of this video, essentially to wrap it up, I think the main part of episode 10 is going to be sort of Nora and her future stuff. And we're potentially going to be tra time traveling to the future, which is just crazy. Super excited for all of this. And, you know, seeing little Nora, we've seen a glimpse of her and, you know, Maybe we get a development in regards to Cicada and Killer Frost, you know, maybe that's a bit hoping to fit it all into one episode, but it's mainly about Nora, and as we head into Season 5B, so the back half, I think Reverse Flash is going to slowly turn into that overarching villain that we expect him to be, and so apparently this is sort of like a new take on the Reverse Flash, and they're not going to necessarily take it the exact same route that we've seen him before, but take him in a way that's slightly different, but also reminds you of that original one 
So I think there's a lot to look forward to, especially in episode 10, but also especially in the back season as a whole because it looks very promising. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and also please be sure to subscribe to my film channel, my movie podcast channel, we reviewed Aquaman, and recently we just put up a Mary Poppins review, so I love that film, so please go check out the review, it means so much if you guys could support us, so anyway guys, I will see you guys later, goodbye. Shut free.